Testing, testing. Once again, man, this is Nick Digital, man. Thank you guys for joining me for season one. Hit that notification because season two is going to be off the meters, man. I already got a lot in the editing process. Man, we're about to go on deep dive into song making, self sound design, and album sequencing with the MV8000, as well as a lot of the MV1 into the Zen Beats integration. We're going to do a deep dive of all this. We're going to go live more often. Man, we're going to push this thing to the hill. So stay tuned for MV Live and continue to look out for the art of MV going forward to 2024, man. Peace. See you soon. you get things already locked down so in this little track here I've already got most of what I want so here's the editor and it's great to me for once you made it to a certain point so here's this track I'm working on as well and it's, it's pretty much I've already arranged uh, the sections the amount of clips in the sections are already kind of there. This is it's not a complete track, but it's a it's a ready to go to the next stage track, right? So here's a section with six, seven different tracks in the section. This section only has three parts in there, right? This section only has two clips, and each of these clips have their own effects going, right? So I've already kind of affected them in in the individual way. But when you're going through it that way or you're already at the back end, being able to right click and, and mouse through these things, this is the cool part. Now, a lot of us kind of pride ourselves on working strictly on the screen. I'm not one of those guys. I love the fact that I can go from real time editing and back right into the unit uh, and use both like screens. So going forward there's going to be a lot of uh, Zen Beats and MV integration in the videos themselves because I'll be diving into this integration thoroughly. When you, when you have access to the the main out here you have everything. There's your limiter your multi-band compression your 5-band EQ as well as when you're on each track at this point accessing the EQ and compressor that comes on each track right cool so this is the verse lab better we're familiar with it I like it I don't I don't have any complaints about it but this is not even the, the coolest part the coolest part is that if you was to go up here and forget the editor. You're done with that part, right? You just open up a song. You create your song. I'm going to open one that, I, that I've already worked on. This very song right here. And boom. So now I don't really need the editor, but I've already recorded the entire song. So I've already recorded the entire song here already. And you'll hear a little bit more processing because as you can see down here the minute you plug your MV in your MV1 in you're already set up channel channels all, all only thing you need to do is arm everything it's already ready to record your stems right into the Zen Beats app right and I can even add an additional um, external audio right over here if I wanted to however I didn't do that but one thing I want to say is that the Zen Beats and the uh, and the MV1 are not the same unit. Let me, let me show you something. Oh, mind you, this is already in song mode. I don't have to do any arrangement. So, all right. So we're in here. As you can see, full metering, full levels, everything's a go. You go ahead and record it on in here, and you're good, 
right? Let's take a little bit. See how round that bottom is? Now I've already did a little bit of processing as you can see if I were to bring up the plug-in. So this has some drive on it, probably an 808. I got the Zen Beats EQ and compressor running on the kit channel, which that's where most of the drums are. A nice little chorus effect on here, delay, flanger. So I got some processing going, right? These are not the exact same effects that are in the MV1, but stuff that's unique to um, Zen Beats, right? The different presets and stuff that you need to, to do. So if I want an audio effect in this one, here's the screen, and here are all the Zen Beats. Now this is not the MV1, because the MV1 doesn't have just a straight up, uh, where is that, the, uh, the pump, the side chain pump and the side chain comp. These are unique things for the Zen Beats, and the MV1 is is integrated enough to take advantage of it because I used it on this composition. I used the effects on this composition with ease. So, in my opinion, so far, this is what I got to say, and this is going to hurt. Some of us, some of us MV users missed the boat, all right? There can, when I did this particular exercise, which I'm going to do ad nauseum, I'm, I'm going to do this over and over and over because this is the point right here. And we'll go deeper into this point going forward on season two when I break down the MV1 and Zimby. You have a dedicated little app. I don't know how many um, different uh, machines that they've made that can access the the, the um, Zen beats, uh, the way that Verse Lab does. I don't know if the MC one hundred and one or seven hundred and seven or SP four hundred and four Mark two or the Phantom. I don't know if they all integrate into the Zen beats like this. Somebody will have to tell me that. But if they did, it's kind of ingenious. So I'm gonna say something else about Roland versus Zakai and what Roland is doing in the next segment. I'll end this segment with saying that. The integration with the Verse Lab and Zimbeats is just enough to push you and edge you towards finishing your work or progressing your work into Zimbeats because you know you can export those stems straight into your main DAW. Why do I think that we missed the boat? Well, because when we were talking about the MV8000, everybody wanted it to be able to do this get the idea out of the MV and into the digital world easily and quickly that's what this does and you can do it with another DAW you can go and use this as the, the generic sound card to another DAW and dump your stems into your favorite DAW but within Zim Beats I'm saying it's a great match because the sound engines are the same so a lot of the effects you got they're going to be some overlap but a lot of stuff in the Xenology and the uh, Zen Beats, the different versions you get, the ultimate versions, have things that the, that the, uh, the MV1 doesn't have. So, like, they have a glitch, like the new modern halftime gross beat type, type effects called glitch uh, in Zen Beats. Like I told you, they have the, 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 the pumping, the side chain pump effect already mapped out for you on there. So, it's just so much to get into, and we will get into it on in the Zen.